Have you ever been awakened from a deep sleep with a massive charley horse so severe you could only writhe in pain? Did you know that that's an ascension symptom? And it's not the only one. If you'd like to learn more about the whys and wherefores of ascension symptoms, then stick around because I've got the details straight from Archangel Metatron coming right up. Hi, I'm Deborah Lupian, spiritual teacher and voice of the Akashic Records. We were discussing ascension symptoms like muscle spasms, tinnitus, fatigue, and dizziness on a recent Ask Your Guides live event which you can see here. That caused me to wonder if there were other symptoms we may not have yet realized were part of the process. It's important to differentiate between ascension symptoms and physical illnesses so that we don't go down unnecessary rabbit holes trying to solve problems that aren't there. So I decided to call upon Archangel Metatron to give us the rundown on symptoms and guidance on how to best manage them. So without further ado, here's my interview with Metatron. Metatron, I ask, the topic of ascension has been coming up a lot lately, and I've been experiencing symptoms as well. What can you tell us about ascension? Metatron responds, your ascension is ongoing and progressing well. You need not concern yourself about that. Symptoms will come and go as you reach each new plateau. Do not be afraid, for we are with you. Question, can you tell us about common symptoms? Metatron, Some may experience a temporary visual halo, dizziness, tinnitus, rash, or skin irritations that are not normal for this body. Cramps or muscle spasms in the calves, arch of the foot or toes. Spasms may also occur as a stitch in the side or in other areas of the body. Heat flashes or body flushes in extremities. It may feel like your body is on fire breathe through and it will quickly subside. You are each individuals and your bodies will respond differently. Honor the need for more sleep. Allow your body to adjust. More sleep means the process will move along more smoothly. Question, aside from the rest, is there anything we can do nutritionally to make these soul growing pains less uncomfortable? Metatron responds, if you are able to welcome these symptoms, even laugh or shout to release and shift energy, you may find they abate more rapidly. The thing you do not want to do is move into resistance, holding your breath, clenching your teeth, or tightening your muscles. We would caution not to fear ascension, for you excitedly anticipated this event when you chose to come at this time to participate in this evolutionary period. You knew it would be challenging, but willingly and joyfully stepped up to have the honor of participating. You would not have come if you were not ready and able to triumphantly pass through this period of ascension. This is the time to rejoice. One day soon, your body will have caught up to your soul expansion and these difficulties will be only a memory. Remember when you were a child experiencing growing pains? It hurt. Sometimes you cried. Ultimately, your body came back into homeostasis and the pains were forgotten. So too will you forget ascension pains. You have done well and your team beams in appreciation of your efforts. Question, what else can you tell me about ascension? Is there any new information? How about some breaking news of the soul world? Is this something that will take years or is it more like months? Metatron responds, That is the wrong question. This phase of ascension may last a few years. However, in the future, there will be another wave of ascension as more souls come on board, while others ascend to yet a higher level. It's never complete. However, symptoms will not always be as intense as at present. Question, when things like skin irritation and dizziness happen, is it okay to use remedies or over-the-counter solutions in the short term to feel more comfortable? Metatron responds, of course, although we would encourage you to use discernment and choose products that are natural and devoid of toxic additives. Do not overly obsess about this topic. It is important, but need not occupy your every waking thought. Our purpose in discussing is to help you come through as comfortably as possible with as little distress as possible. Understanding is power. 
Ascension itself is not the goal. Ascension is the transition which gives you access to the next level of being. Meanwhile, you have many other priorities to attend to on your soul journey. Your top priority is to live your purpose. Always and forever, that is the most important reason for being. It's why you're in this body at this very moment. Honor yourself, attend to your journey, and use the guidance we have given to make yourself as comfortable as possible along the way. Remember, we are your beck and call team. Never hesitate to reach out for assistance. Namaste. Thank you, Metatron. We really appreciate you taking the time to share enlightenment with us. So if you wanna speed up your ascension, regular meditation will absolutely do that. There's nothing else that will facilitate the process as swiftly. To that end, watch this space for details and updates on my upcoming 21 day meditation challenge that was suggested by Metatron. I just completed it and wow, it's a game changer. This is Deborah Lupien, voice of the Akashic Records. Until next time, bye.